So we learned about writing and reading information from files. Now let's talk about a different file, which is CSV or comma separated values that can be opened in Excel or any spreadsheet uh, document processing software and do post processing on that. First, what I want to do is to create a random CSV file using CSV read or CSV write. So I want to clear and close all CLC and call X a random function of 30 rows and 20 columns. If I do this, I can see that a an X is created. If I double click on this, see that there are 600 random values have been written in this X. And what I want to do is to say CSV write, give the file name, spreadsheet.csv and then pass into that X. If I run this, if I come here, I see that spreadsheet.csv is created. Open that outside MATLAB and Excel opens and it shows that I have 600 data from A1 till T30. Now I want to read data from here. So I want to say clear, close all, and CLC. I'm going to call this data is equal to CSV read. Give the file name, which is spreadsheet.csv. And that's enough to read the entire CSV file. If I do this and I come to here, I see that data is a 30 by 20 double information. I can actually read from a certain starting point. So I can call um, zero and zero, which means from the top left corner, which is A1, or I can say go from the fourth row, but I show it with three because in here, zero means the first line. And so thir three means the fourth line and I start from the um, sixth column and I put five. And if I do that, we can see that data is now a 27 by 15. So I can read and write data like this very easily as long as there are numbers um, using a CSV file. So a good way, a, a good thing that this CSV functionality in MATLAB helps is if I have data from other applications, um, when I do finite element analysis in ANSYS or console or whatnot, and I save my data as CSV, I can use MATLAB to read those CSV files and store the information in a parameter and then deal with that. For example, if I wanted to um, basically read everything and I have a 30 by 20 uh, dabble and I could say plot data, um, say everything in the 15th column and just plot something like this. This is 30 because it's counting and I only gave one value there and now and the y axis I have the information from data. And that is very handy uh, in post-processing information from other application, applications inside MATLAB. So in this tutorial we learned how to write information in a CSV file and how to read information from a CSV file.